being in a runway show and this was very unexpected but yesterday I was invited to walk in the Walking for Gold 2022 charity fashion show. A little bit of a backstory. Um, so last year I worked with Walking for Gold on their admin team as their runway coach. This year I decided not to participate because I had just had a baby and I was having postpartum depression and it was all just too much for me to work with them. They had a model drop out at literally the 11th hour. It was 11 o'clock when they messaged me and said, hey, can you come do this today? That's how I ended up doing this and I'm really excited because I love the team. I love the mission and I love runway. Let's go get hair and makeup done. Hair and makeup was donated by Avalon Institute. I was assigned to finger waves for my hair since that was the hair for the model who dropped out. But the hairstylist and I quickly realized that that was not going to work for my hair type. So we did a wavy half up look instead and it turned out so cute. Thank you Kaylee for doing my hair. After hair and makeup, we drove to the venue, ate some lunch, and got changed for rehearsals. Here's a quick look at backstage and the venue for the event. The other models had months to prepare and learn the runway choreography, and I had less than 48 hours to learn it. We rehearsed the walks I was in to give me a chance to learn the choreography before the show. And of course, I had to take a moment to get out my nervous energy. <laughs> How's it going? Um, good. <laughs> right on. <laughs> I'm nervous. In the time between rehearsals and showtime, the nerves were building backstage. I tried to distract myself from my own anxious feelings by talking to the other models and taking pictures and videos. Finally, it was time to start the show. The first walk we did was a tribute performance to Millie, the young girl who passed away from childhood cancer and is the reason behind this event. Walking for Gold works in collaboration with the Millie's Princess Foundation, founded after Millie, to raise money for a child fighting cancer. The first designer I walked for was Miss Queen's Boutique. That was the easiest choreography I had to learn for the night and also such a cute outfit. I got to wear this adorable three-piece set. It was so comfortable and I absolutely loved it. By the way, this footage is screen recorded from her Instagram, so go check out Miss Queen's Boutique to see the full show. My second walk was for Designer Briquels. This footage again is screen recorded from her Instagram and YouTube channel. I had a harder time remembering this choreography because it was more complex and I did mess up at a key moment, but you'll have to watch the full show on her channel to see the mistake I made. I loved the look I wore from Designer Briquels. I would wear anything she makes, even the menswear. Go follow her, she is incredibly talented. After walking for Designer Briquels, I was done for the night until the finale. I had about 45 minutes to hang out backstage while all the other designers had their showcases, as well as all the performances between the shows. By this point, I had been in my heels and on my feet for about 5 hours and my feet were killing me. I took some time to put my feet up, have a snack, and rest until the final walk. After the show was over, we took some photos, I helped clean up, and headed back home. Wow, what a show. I'm so glad I was invited back to participate even at the last minute. The show went really well. It wasn't without its mistakes because I definitely made my mistakes. I really hope that in the future I can do more runway. I have a lot of work I need to do on my walk still and 4 inch heels are still something that I struggle with so much. But I'm going to keep working and keep grinding and I'll get there someday. You should definitely follow Walking for Gold on Instagram so you can see details from this show, but also for the next show if you're wondering how to support and how to contribute to this cause. That being said, thank you for watching this video. Please like it and leave a comment down below if you would ever walk in a runway show if you have the chance. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Oh my gosh. I can't even tell you how horrible I feel right now. Those runway muscles I have not used in a year. And my body is aching. All my muscles are sore. My feet hurt so bad last night. I could not fall asleep. My whole neck to shoulders to back 
is so sore. Anyway, I'm just gonna rest today. I can't. Bye.